So we're, we're gonna make a left turn here, I guess. At the very last, did you see that? I changed that. I'm the car. Okay, let's see how the car handles this. Right turn, the car is giving us way very nice. Wow. Wow, very, very impressive. Very impressive. It make space. I, I, and that exactly here. Correct. This is the right thing you should do. You come here, you wait until that black car pass away and then you can we can make that U-turn. So we'll see how the car handles this situation. The car couldn't make it. It is doing it this time. Very fast, again, very fast. That's why it failed. Again, it is going very fast. Like you don't have to go that fast. Hello everyone, we're back with another full self-driving version 12.3.6. And yes, we didn't get that version 12.4 or 12.4.1 because there are a few bugs which Tesla is fixing right now and hopefully is going to be released in the next week. So let's see how the car performs here because most of the people are using 12.3.6 so we definitely have to see how 12.3.6 perform here but definitely I got a software update that is called 2024.14.1 uh, 14.9 sorry uh, but there should be definitely a few bug fixes and we're gonna see how the car handles this situation so we're gonna make a right turn here on this stop sign and the car creeps and it shouldn't creep because this is a always stop sign if this is a always stop sign you can just leave like uh, look on your left side right side and a straight and then you can proceed but probably that road has some like visibility issues so the creep the car creeps a little bit and then look on its left and right and when it's clear the car proceed we're gonna make a right turn here and we'll see how the car handles this situation as you guys can see we have the new um map here and you can see the visualization okay proceed at the very last moment didn't like it didn't very like it i'm so sorry that car should be pissed because i'm sorry it should like it proceed at the very last moment it shouldn't make that right turn because there was a car coming from our left side and that car is going fast probably 40 like right now i'm going 48 and that car was probably 45 or something like that and it was very close as a human being if i was driving i would not proceed that moment and the light just changed we have to definitely stop here for this red light and our car stopped for this red light so we're gonna see how the car handles this situation also guys if you guys are new in this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and thank you so much for watching guys and we are going to be we're gonna go straight and right over here as you guys can see after this uh, traffic light we will merge we'll merge on that road but we'll see how the car handles this one so we are proceeding right now our car proceed perfectly without any hesitation we need to change the lane right now to follow our destination where the car always lacks so we're gonna see how the car handle now it is changing the lane very nice at the very last moment and the truck was very fast in our back so we have to change another lane to follow the route and we'll see how the car handles this one it is it is good doing it very nice so now we're gonna stop here and then we're gonna proceed. Very, very nice. Proceed perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Let's see how the car handles this situation. So what I'm gonna do is, I will pass that and I will press home when we pass this road. So we're gonna see how the car handles this situation. I know it immediately changed, see that there is that GPS, but it is, okay, you're going so close to that curve. So I took over one more time, guys, because the car was confused because I immediately changed and it realized I cannot make that right turn. So it just suddenly breaks and parked over there. And then it started proceeding, but it was proceeding in a wrong route. So we'll see how the car handles this situation. The car perfectly make that left turn and it is a very tight left turn i have to mention that and there is another car double parked here so we'll see how the car handles okay very close oh my god 
Okay, yeah, it measured everything perfectly, but the road is very narrow. So I'm not complaining about FSD, but I'm complaining about it is going like, you know, like cautiously and uh, making that uh, perfect measurement and went through. So it is, it is very good. It is very good. But the thing is like, like going through that, the car um, didn't realize at the first moment it is very narrow and it realized it and so it adjusted like, you know, making some steering wheel nag here and there, but it didn't, right? So, you know, like you should comment below how you think about this drive, how FSD is performing uh, with the software update. We'll see definitely how the car handles this one. And we have to stop here as you guys can see there are a few others car gonna come from our left side and we definitely have to stop so there are few cars coming so it shouldn't proceed this is the right thing now it has stopped last video it proceed and there is another car in our back and he he was very pissed like why you are proceeding from a stop sign there are other cars coming from our left but this time the car did it perfectly not even like you know like going through that and uh, like you know like making people's um mad and now it is going perfectly without any hesitation the sun is blasting right now and we're gonna see how the car handles this situation so what i will do is go here and we're gonna see how the car handles this situation we're gonna make a right turn right over here and we'll see how the car handles because we will test something very interesting we're gonna test a U-turn one more time, that exact location where the car always fails most of the time. Wow, very, very impressive, very impressive. It make space, I, I, where it had to make that right turn very, very, in very narrow space, or it could just stop, like I cannot do it, do it yourself. So we'll see, and there is also a new Model 3, and it's a brand new Model 3 and it just got hit by someone i feel so terrible right now oh my god that model 3 is a brand new model 3 and someone just you know probably hit and it doesn't even have that registration i feel really bad whatever it is guys so we are gonna make an unprotected left here but the road is kind of tricky let me show you why so as you guys can see, here is a divider, divider, right? And you can see that this is a divider and this where we can make that U-turn, but our car is showing from here. So after immediately make like right turn, we can go like go straight. And then at the very last lane, we can make that right turn and immediately make that U-turn. But for some reason, our car will make that right turn. We'll see how the car handles. Sometimes it make that right turn here and sometimes the car make a U-turn here. So we'll see how the car handles this situation also guys one more time i'll be very grateful if you subscribe to my channel because in this channel we're gonna test fsd to its highest position highest difficulty and we're gonna push fsd um to the or situation so that the fsd can learn things so there is a red light as you guys can see and the car is proceeding and our car there is other cars coming truck coming we'll see there is another car or truck coming. We're gonna see how the car handles. So I just took over because there is a truck over here. It should stay here. When it is making that U-turn, and now I proceed, and the car is making that U-turn very slow. I had to press that acceleration, guys, because there is another car coming from our right side, from our back. So we're gonna see how the car handles this situation. So we're gonna make a U-turn one more time, and we're gonna test that so i'm i'm frustrated for something that the car is still making mistake when there is like others car from our back so not very impressed with the performance right now and we'll see how the car handles this situation we're gonna make one more right turn while exactly the same road and we'll see how the car handles this situation so let's do it
So I'm gonna make another U-turn by myself and then we'll try that exact left turn. I'll, I have to say I'm protected left, but this road is kind of tricky compared to Chuck's road. Chuck's road, you have to wait on the Medarian or that space. And uh, here you have to, right now I just engage FSD, but it is stopped because the GPS is saying you have to go this way, but the car have no way it can go this way right now. So I just press that acceleration one more time. It is going a little fast, not very fan of this thing because now it decreased this speed, very nice. 19 is very, very decent speed here in this narrow road. And the car moves to that right side to give a space if there is any other car coming and make a right turn in this road. So we're gonna go, there is other car coming. So I really wanna test where there is no car because when there is no car, the car has more space to make this U-turn. So right now the light just changed. We can proceed and it is proceeding. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So as you guys can see the grass on the left side, right? We should stay in the middle. Right now where we are staying is not the right thing to do, but it is trying to make that U-turn. It is trying, it is trying and make that U-turn perfectly, very nice and immediately increase the speed. So I'm gonna take over one more time and we're gonna make another U-turn here. Another, another U-turn here and then we're gonna see how the car handles that. So we'll go on that exact route one more time and we'll see how the car handles this situation. Also guys, if you guys are new in this channel, I request you please subscribe because as I said, we're gonna test so many things in this channel. We already did summon, we already did, you know, like uh, auto park features and everything, but we're gonna test FSD mainly and focus on FSD. And we're gonna see how the car handles this U-turn. So what I will do right now, I'll stop that and I'll make the gps here so that the car has immediately have to make a u-turn and then immediately have to switch on that right side lane to go in that make that right turn so we'll see how the car handles this one we started the ride by tapping the stock and right now our car is proceeding and we're gonna make a right turn a little fast compared to my test one more time this is very narrow road i have to say that this is very narrow and there are like so many trees and you are almost covered so we'll see. So as a human being, I would just go straight and that black car pass away and then you can we can make that U-turn. So we'll see how the car handles this situation. The car couldn't make it. Handles this rerouting situation. It just, um, you know, decreased the speed and we have to make this right turn. Going a little fast because this is this is a road where the road goes a little up, so it should. And now we're going to make a right turn, but there is no stop sign and the car making this right turn perfectly. Okay, without any problem, the car made it. But the situation was it came to that right location where it should be, right? It came to that exact U-turn lane or that left turn lane where it should be. But this time for some reason it was doing some like, you know, fast movement and it made that uh, mistake. Um, not pretty sure why, why, why. I have no idea why, but not a big fan. For the last time we're going to try for the last time because it did it. It came to that exact lane perfectly so i'm gonna do that one more time because because i want to try it i want to try that road i will see how the car handles this so we're gonna go so we're gonna go exactly on that road and we're gonna try that one more time the car did it perfectly it waited over there there is no other car coming from the opposite side it could just easily make that u-turn for some reason for some reason i really don't know why the car made that mistake it just went to that left lane and make that left turn beside like not making that u-turn it just make a left turn not pretty sure why 
so the car is going a little fast because if there is any other cars coming so we'll see okay let's see so it should now do that u-turn from here as you guys can see you see that white mark here we should just make that u-turn from there like the last time it tried but it failed but we'll try the last time for now and we're gonna try one more time tomorrow Right guys, so don't forget to subscribe to see this kind of test where we put FSD or Tesla cars in, you know, situations like this. So there are other car coming from our right side, left side, and now the car proceed. Okay, okay, it didn't go that fast. That lane change. It came all the way to that three lane, come over there, and it should just easily, if just stay over there, calm down, slow down and then make that u-turn for some reason the car was like okay i'm gonna do it once and it go it went so fast and then decreased the speed and made it a left turn not a u-turn so you know guys this is the test we want to do and we're gonna keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it until the car fix itself so thank you for watching guys i really appreciate your time and support and love make sure one more time i'm saying please subscribe this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator this is my dream i just want to share one story like from 2009 i i was creating content that moment i was in bangladesh a third world country and a third world country where i i belongs from and then i got uh, to came i had i got that opportunity to come in this country united states and i'm a, i'm a proud citizen right and making content for over a decade not regularly but i got i i got to see those love guys you guys shown already like you guys are subscribing commenting every single video i got like 30 plus comment there are so many people Derek. there are like a, some like a page calls photography they're commenting every single day and i just th thought like let's make more videos because i really want to do it and because these people are showing me so much love so much support i need to do it every single day so i started from December or January and I'm already getting so many subscribers so many views So I just want to keep continuing this, uh, you know, like trend that making videos every single day And if you want to support me, that will be the best thing in my life Also, I'm gonna request you one more time Please hit that subscribe button because because of you guys I make video every single day I get out from my house make videos edit those make thumbnails share these in social medias get attention, reply to each and every single comment. And I'm trying guys, I'm trying my best. I love you so much guys. And I really wanna tell you that please support me as a content creator. And if you wanna also support me, I have a Patreon link on my description. If you want to support me monthly, please join over there, Sub hit that Patreon link, or you can join in my channel in that join button either two dollar or three dollar you can support me as a content creator thank you so much guys i really really appreciate that and have a wonderful wonderful day